good morning dear students in the last class we have seen what is meant by database and database user it is a continuation of part of introduction to database so by i am myself dr vinay joshi so typical type of database uh, outline also we have studied we'll come to uh, the type of databases that we have studied one is numeric and textual we also discussed multimedia database graphic information system data warehouses real time and active databases and many more many other applications so we'll continue further part we also discussed the last class what is meant by database what is meant by data mini world database management system database system and etc okay so this is a one simplified database system environment that also we have discussed where the database is at the end use and database users are at, at the end use database system is a dbms software is there at the end stored database and metadata are there so uh, discussed the typical dbms functionality in today's class and we will go ahead and discuss what are the characteristics of dbms nature and much more things so to define a particular database in terms of data types and structure and constraint this is one of the functionality of dbms so now we'll see what is meant by data types structures and constraint data types means the type of data whether the data may be integer it may be numeric or it may be floating or it may be uh, string it may be alphabetic characters it may be some other form of data so these fall into different type of data types that is why it is called as a different different data types and its structure so what is the size of the database whether if it is int three numbers can be taken or four numbers can be taken if it is string or the it is a character so how many size maybe four size five size that is structure constraint means the condition applying to while defining the database take for example of age so usually human beings age is somewhere suppose he is uh, studying the dbms his age is 22 or 23 max maybe 24 or 25 the age cannot be negative so if somebody tries to write minus 100 what is the meaning of that age cannot be age in the database cannot be marked as a negative number so this in the while creating the database you should put that this a should take numbers positive numbers then that is called as a condition and it can be called also called as a constraint so another constraint is that okay age cannot be more than 200 years nobody has lived more, nearly in uh, present year nobody has lived more than 200 or 300 years so you should maintain the range for age from when it takes the birth it is a day one so you can say that 0.001 age to or one age number 1 to age number maximum 120 or 130 so this is a second condition it is also called as a const constraints okay so constraints are the condition put make made during the creation of database second one construct or load initial database database con contents on a secondary storage medium secondary storage medium is a hard disk that is a typical functionality then manipulating the databases so what is meant by manipulating so it falls into three categories one is retrieval modification and accessing what is meant by retrieval if you insert something in the database you need to fetch it outside so that is called as a querying querying means you are asking the question to the dbms about about what you want to get from dbms so you are writing question or you are write, asking the dbms about some information that is called as querying in the uh, that querying is a in a programming language or it is also called as a structured query language generating reports so a soft copy of report can be retrieved in a excel sheet or some other format where the reports can be generated then what is meant by modification these are the characteristics modification includes 
three things one is insertion deletion and updation to its content already database is there you have created that is empty when you populate when you insert the some data into database it is, the method is called as insertion deletion means when some data or the information is not required in that database then you are doing the operation of deletion update means you are updating the data you are changing suppose so some student um, in the some year of engineering degree he has scored 80% okay he put for revaluation then he is revaluation he gets more marks maybe 82% so you want to update the database so this is a updation method so you will update from 80 to 82 80 to 82 marks or he may if he have got 85 you will up, update from 80 to 85 and that is called as a updation accessing the database through web application means through web application you can access the database that is one of feature for example are the online transaction online e-commerce method online application form filling these are the web application next main thing is a processing and sharing by set of concurrent users and application programs yet keeping the data valid and consistent so this is a it can be explained as a, a database can be shared okay while processing also current concurrently by many users we'll take example for this very simple is we'll take example of railway reservation method where the all the ticket bookers or the passengers are seeing the railway reservation website where the seats are empty there are all are allowed to process at once share at once see at once to book the ticket this is a best example of dbms so dbms allows you for processing sharing and doing the thing some other features we'll, we'll discuss protection or security measures to prevent the unauthorized access so what is a protection and what is security is un, uh, made to dbms is dbms users are given with the username and password so that only authorized person can access it active processing to take the internal actions on data will give the right authorization to process the data suppose the, for example active press active processing to take the internal action means suppose there is a cashier in the bank he is only allowed to only take the amount and give the amount some kind of operations are only permitted to him he is not allowed to sanction the loan so such kind of data is called as a active processing and internal actions to this particular person presentation and visualization of data so data in the database can be visualized according to the end user's wish that is called as a presentation and visualization of data maintaining the database and associated programs over the lifetime of a database application okay maintaining the database and associated program over the lifetime of database application so for this database is a, you can take slc or puc board exams for lifetime the database of your marks in the slc or puc or engineering board will be kept lifetime so uh, these are the some other features so for example of about database are core databases software system maintenance and other things now we'll see what are the examples of database mini world example the part of university environment uh, it includes some real world entity students courses sections department and instructors sections are specific courses okay students takes into section courses have prerequisite courses instructor instructors teach the sections courses are offered by departments students major in the department okay these are the some example of conceptual data modeling of a database so this what we are seeing is the example of simple databases courses it contains four columns one is course name course number grade hours and department in the course name introduction to computer science the course number is ci 1310 course credit is 4 hours 
and department is CS. Similarly, section has got the four five columns. One is section identifier, course number, semester, year, and instructor. Grade report contains three columns. One is student number, section identifier, grade. The prerequisite are the course number and prerequisite number. These are different type of databases and it can be said as a simple databases. Now the main characteristic of database approach. So there are so many important characteristics. We will go one by one. First one is self describing nature of database. So what is the self describing of database uh, is one of the very important uh, up, um, characteristic approach compared to file system. So a DBMS, a fundamental characteristic of database approach is a database system contains not only the database itself, but it also complete definition of description of database structure and constraints. This definition is stored in the database catalog, which contains information such as structure of each file, the type uh, of storage format of each data item and various constraints that we have discussed what is meant by constraint on the data like age cannot be negative. The information, the information stored in the catalog is called as a metadata. It is a, a data about uh, the data. It is called as a data dictionary. It describes the structure of primary databases. The catalog is used by the DBMS software and also by database users who need information about database structure. A general purpose DBMS software package is not written in a specific database application. Therefore, it must refer to catalog to know the structure of data files in specific databases. So, in traditional file system processing, what happens? The data definition is typically the part of application program themselves. Hence, these programs are constrained to work with only one specific databases whose structure is declared in the application program. For example, the application program written in C++ may have struct or class declaration. And in the COBOL program, it has the data division and statements to define the files itself. Files itself, where the file processing software can access only specific databases. DBMS software can access the diverse databases by extracting the database definition from catalog. So this is a self describing. The database itself will describe what is the size of data, what is the constraint, what is the uh, other parameters of database. This is the first characteristic approach of DBMS. Next is a insulation of insulation between programs and data. Okay. So in the traditional file system, what happens? The file processing is a structure of data files embedded in the application program. So many changes in the structure of file may require changing all the programs that accesses file many times. So by contrast, where the DBMS accesses programs do not require such changes in the most of cases. The structure of data files stored in the DBMS catalog are separately can be separately accessed from the programs. So, so we call it as a program independence. So what is a program independence? So when you write a DBMS in a file, the DBMS information is stored in the file itself. So any changes made to program are also allowed to any changes made to program can also uh, information need to require the change of program. Here in the DBMS, you are not allowed to change the program each time. It allows changing a data structure storage organization without having changed to DBMS access program. So these are the some simplified version of database catalog. Okay, here relations, relations, it include relation name, name of the column. The column is a database 
column name data type and it belongs to belongs to relation okay so with this we'll stop and we'll further continue the further characters in the next class thank you